In this video, we're going to look at graphing a quadratic equation from a table of values. The question says complete the table below and draw the graph for the equation y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 for x between negative and positive 3. We can tell this is a quadratic equation as we have an x squared term in. So if it's quadratic, we've got x squared in. Before, we just had linear equations, so straight lines, y is equal to 3x plus 1 y is equal to minus x plus 2. This time we have the quadratic term in. When we have this quadratic term, the graph will be a curve, and we call these parabolas. What I'm going to do is substitute in the values of x into the equation, find the corresponding y values, I'm going to put them in the table, plot the points, and draw our curve. I'm going to make this a non-calculator question so we can get some skills in squaring negative numbers. So let's start off with x is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to take negative 3 and I'm going to substitute it in. So y is going to be equal to negative 3, which we need to square. We're going to subtract away now two lots of negative 3 and we're going to add 1. A common error here is students writing that this is negative 9. When we square a negative number, it's positive. We've got these two signs now, which is going to give us plus 6. So we're subtracting a negative number, which means we're adding, and then we're going to add 1. So that gives me 9, 6, and 1, which is going to give me 16. So I'm going to write in here that that is going to be 16. So when it is negative 3, y is going to be 16. If this is a calculator question, often you'll be awarded less marks and you'll just write in the answer. If it's non-calculator, check how many marks you're being offered as you might need to show this working. If we were doing this on a calculator, all I would do is set up the equation. I'd have bracket, I would square the bracket, minus two lots now of the bracket, then I would add one. All I'd do now is substitute in my values, so starting with negative three, we would substitute in negative three, and that would give us the 16. As it's non-calculator, I'm going to do it like so. So let's take now x is equal to negative 2. We're going to take negative 2. We need to square negative 2. We need to subtract away two lots of negative 2, and we need to add 1. So if I square negative 2, that's going to give me positive 4. Again, we're subtracting a negative, which means we're adding it, and then we're going to add the 1. So that's going to give me now 9. So when x is negative 2, y is 9. If we now take x is equal to negative 1, sub in this in, we'll have now y is equal to negative 1, which we need to square. We're going to subtract away two lots of negative 1, and we're going to add 1. That's going to give me now a positive 1. Then we're going to have now adding another 2 and adding another 1. That will give me 4. So all I'm doing is filling this out. And now we will take x to be equal to 0. So substituting in, or subbing in, as we say, we're going to have y is equal to 0, which we need to square, minus 2 lots of 0 plus 1. That's going to give us now 0 plus 0 plus 1, and we end up with 1. So when x is 0 or 0, y is going to be equal to 1. Let's now substitute in 1. So when x is equal to 1, so x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 1, which we need to square. We're going to subtract away two lots of 1, and we're going to add 1. 1 squared is 1, then we're going to subtract away 2, and we're going to add 1, and that is going to give me now in total 0. So if I just put that on, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. OK, let's do the next one. We've got x is equal to 2. So just substituting this in, we're going to have x is equal to 2. We will have now y is equal to 2, which we need to square. We're going to subtract away two lots of 2, and we're going to add 1. So this time we're going to have 4 minus 4 plus 1. That will give me 0. I add 1, and that will give me 1. What we're now starting to see is the symmetry of our curve. So all of these quadratic curves are going to be symmetric, we call them parabolas, and we end up now with a point that it's symmetric about. So if I do the next one, 3, I know I'm going to get 4. So if I go ahead and do that, I'll just write this out. We'll put in that x is equal to 3. 
So x is equal to 3. y will be equal to 3, which we need to square. Minus 2 lots of 3, and we're going to add 1. So this is going to be equal to 9 minus 6. Then we're going to add 1, which, of course, is going to give us the 4, which we expected. So what we end up with now is this point where we've got symmetry. When we draw these parabolas, they're nice sweeping curves rather than dots connected by straight lines. So let's go ahead now and plot this. We're going to have negative 3, 16. So let's just check this scale. This scale we can see is going up by 2, yet this one is going up by 5. Just be careful, make sure you're locating the correct point. So negative 3, 16 is going to be just here. The next one we're going to have is negative 2, which is just here, comma 9, and that will be there. The next one we're going to have is negative 1, comma 4, so negative 1, comma 4 will be just here. The next one we're going to have is 0, comma 1, 0, comma 1 is going to be just here. The next one we're going to have is 1, comma 0, so 1, comma 0 is going to be just here, so let's put this on, so that's going to be 1, comma 0. The next one we're going to have now is 2, comma 1. So 2, comma 1 is going to be just here. And then finally now we're going to have 3, comma 4. So 3, comma 4 is just here. If we continued this, now we'd have other points here and it would be symmetric. So if we took this for all values of x, we would end up having a curve go somewhere up here. All we need to do now is connect these up. So I'm going to connect now the dots up with a sweeping curve. As stated, it's quite nice now when you get the hang of drawing these and it will look something like so. So we draw the sweeping curve through the points. It's often easier to turn your page round to do this and it is quite a struggle on the tablet. So let's go ahead and do something like that. That will come round there. Then we will now connect up with a nice sweeping curve through these points like so, and we can label this up. y is equal to x squared minus 2 lots of x, and then we're going to have plus the 1. So that is the equation, and it's plotted now from x is equal to negative to positive 3. As stated, if we were asked to graph this in its entirety, not that we could do it as such, but it's certainly within this range, we would go somewhere up here, and it would be symmetric. So it's symmetric, and I'll just put the, the, uh, the axis or the line of symmetry. That's going to be just there. So faint line, let's just make it slightly better. There we go. So either side of this particular line, we're going to have symmetry. We wouldn't put this on, but that's now completed the sketch or the plot now for y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 for x between negative and positive 3. Before I go, I just want to do one quick example now of substituting in. Let's say we have y is equal to 2x squared minus, let's say, 3x minus 1. In the calculator, we would have now 2 lots of our bracket squared minus 3 lots of our bracket minus 1. A common error here is that students do 2x, and I'll write it here, they do 2x then they square it. These two things are different. We do the x squared first, then we multiply by 2. So graphing a quadratic equation from a table of values.